begin with a step backward in Oahu's fight against COVID-19. That's right. The county saw a big spike in new cases today. Of the 156 new cases reported statewide today, 125 were on Oahu. That's the highest number the island has seen since September. Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell says if we continue on this trend, we could go back to Tier 1, which could mean another lockdown. Kimberly Speakman tonight with our top story. In order to move forward in the city's reopening plan, COVID-19 cases on Oahu must drop below 50. But cases are moving in the opposite direction, which could halt progress. We got to do better, folks, if we're going to move in to Tier 3, which means instead of 10 people around your table at home on Thursday of Thanksgiving, you're down to five. That's sad. It makes me really sad. So help us. We can still do this. We can bring it down. Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell warns that Oahu could go back to Tier 1 if the number of cases continues to climb. That means all businesses that were allowed to reopen two weeks ago could be forced to shut down yet again. Because Tier 1 to move back just means if you have a positivity a number of cases above 100 for two weeks and we're in starting the two-week period now, you automatically snap back. The president of the Healthcare Association of Hawaii says the spike is likely because Oahu moved into Tier 2 and not necessarily from the Halloween weekend. Any impact from the holiday could be reflected this weekend. And so people are getting together. And when I say getting together, not necessarily more socially, but just from a work perspective, you know, they're working together, they're sharing spaces, they're interacting with each other. Currently, there are about 66 COVID-19 patients in the hospital, but an increase will put a strain on the hospital system. Once we get above into the high 100s and into the 200 range, that is when it really stretches our facilities because COVID patients take more nursing care and more clinical care. Raythel tells me they expect the numbers to further increase at the end of the year due to the holidays and travel. Kimberly Speakman, K2N2 News, working for Hawaii.